Lifting up Jesus, opening his word from Australia, Denmark, Israel, Japan, New Zealand, Northern Ireland, Republic of Ireland, Singapore, South Africa, United Kingdom, Thailand, the Philippines, the United States, and throughout the world. You're watching L'Oreal TV. Uh, Jacob, one of the believers asked the question based on Ruth 3.7, did Ruth have intercourse with Boaz in order to obligate him to redeem her? No, in Ruth chapter 3, verse 7, what we read is an ancient Near Eastern courting ritual. It is a courting ritual. The act of laying next to and approaching someone in that way expresses a willingness or an openness or a desire for a marital intimacy. But as we can see from the plain text of chapter 4, there was no consummation of the relationship except post-maritally after the nuptial. So no, it was simply a courting ritual. It was not a conjugation in order to become impregnated to obligate him to marry her in any sense of the word. A reading of chapter 4 would dispel that. Also what we know from the cultural background and the legal background, uh, it, it just wouldn't have been like that. Mar marriage would have been the three phases that you see all the way into the New Testament. The betrothal, the nuptial, and the consummation. Now, what you see there in the courting ritual was a proposition of betrothal. That is an ancient equivalent of an engagement. That's all it was. However, he first needed to settle the legal status of a relative closer to him for the right of redemption was something called the Yerusha, that is the inheritance of a dead relative, and redeeming. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. It's okay. The Yerusha, the right of redemption on behalf of a dead relative and redeeming his name that we read about in the book of Deuteronomy in Leverite marriage. That had to be completely settled legally uh, before there could be a marriage, and the marriage had to be consummated only after the nuptial that we see in chapter 4, where there's a deem, a deem, witnesses to the relationship. We see the same thing in the Song of Solomon, where the Tseva Ota Shemaim are represented by the witnesses, or the a deem, to the romance and the marriage between Solomon and Shulamit. So the answer is absolutely not, no. It was not anything like a setup to get pregnant in order to force him to marry, nothing like that at all. My name is Jacob Prash. Thank you so much for your question. God bless.